Ladies and gentlemen, it's getting spicy out there in them streets, man. I, hey, hey, look, we just gonna, I'm not even gonna, we not even gonna play money on the floor. Let's get straight to it. The boy Cole, the man said, he tweeted out his record and stats and stuff and said, safe to say there's a skill gap. And you see him in the city, 773 dubs and only 17 L's, man. Hey, that's a pretty respectable record. I don't care who puts it out or what you're playing, what you're doing. You get 717 wins and only 17 L's, you're doing something right, my boy. Hey, the, top, the boy Tycino said, hey, he just came straight in there, man. He said, I, I, I got to know. I want to know. I got to know. He says, is that is that mostly from the 2v2 court? We got to set up a showdown this year, man. It looks like you're next level. The boy called him, man. He just responded right back. Absolutely, my G. He said, hey, all 2v2, if you come to America in November, I'm down to wager. And I like I like that. And then Tycino said, the boy Fracino say, I'll definitely Definitely be in America soon for a no delay tour. Keep in touch and keep doing your thing. Why can't it always be like that? Like, it ain't like he called him out like in a bad way or nothing like that. Y'all probably thought it was gonna be spicy and some and some back and forth. Boy, that's just good natured banter. Look, I see somebody that's nice, I wanna play him. And then, you know what I'm saying? Let's set that thing up and let's play. It don't always have to be hate in the 2K community. Why can't it always be like that? Like, you, you play somebody, it, this is how it normally happens in the 2K community. I see how that record is right there. I'm gonna slide up and play you, and then you not even gonna know I played you, and after I play you 1,500 times and actually get a dub or win, then what am I gonna say? Come slide in your chat and put that. GG, come on, man. Y'all gotta stop with that bullshit. Y'all really do. Just if you want to play somebody, hey, ask them if they want to play like just like that. And we all know that the Tycino World Tours go crazy. That thing was, they put 2K, uh, what, at the end of 19 and in 2K20, they had that thing on top of the world, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. It was a dope affair. People were playing. The community was lit. The news was lit. Everything was lit. And I just thought it was one of the good times for 2K. This is what we're talking about with the skill gap, where it spawns good conversation good competition and people actually want to play with each other because they feel like the game is in a good spot. Do you feel like 2K is in a good spot? If you do, the only thing that I think may not be in a good spot is your pockets with the VC. So if you want to enter yourself for a chance to win $50 in VC, make sure you like the video and comment on the video because I will be randomly choosing a person from one of the random videos and we will be, uh, we're going to be giving away a $50 card, a VC, this week. We already gave away two last week. The winners was announced. They got their stuff. They hooked up. Everything is dope. But if you want your chance to win, make sure you like the video, comment on the video, share the video, whatever you want to do, and uh, we're going to get that thing popping. But now that that's out of the way, good morning out there in 2K land, man. Listen, bro, I know that was a long intro, but hey, it is what it is, bro. I I get excited sometimes. I love the 2K community. I love dropping the news. I like when we're in a good spot. I don't like when everybody's at each other's, others at each other's throats. I know that we have that we play a game that is highly competitive. Everybody in the world, it might not be, people to tell you straight up. I might not be good at math. I might not be good at reading. I might not be good at computers. But if you tell somebody they ain't good at, good at basketball, bro, you suck at basketball. You might have to fight his ass. That's just how it go. And y'all already know how it is. Tell him something. Tell him he don't, he, tell him you ain't good at basketball and you don't get no holes. And you're going to have to fight him. That's just it. Y'all already know it. So, so that's how I, I love the game, but I just like the good nature competition that we got, man. And like my boy El Cabro Viejo said, man, he said, man, count your blessings, not your problems, bro. That's one of the things that I wanna, I wanna shine on, shine a light on. And also my guy Laker fan, he said, gotta remind myself every day to stop responding to the haters and trolls and actually show love back to those who do the same to me. I just, I'm just arrogant and like trying to prove people wrong or make my point. And I think that's all of us, but that's something that every single con content creator must do. We got to remember, I will go through a million of you guys' likes and everybody will say, good, good shit, Jay, do your thing. We love you, we need you, keep putting it on. Even my boy, my boy said, he, hey, we helped, my boy Piper told me, we helped me and Brute help him get him through a, the most difficult time that anybody on this planet would, would ever 
ever go through or it, it should never happen to anybody but we helped get him through that time man it almost brought tears to my eyes because i understand what he go through me and him talk offline and stuff so i know i know what he's going through and stuff and it's just crazy that you realize you got that impact on people and wouldn't it be so so much better if we put that energy back into the people that put energy into us instead of going through the comment section and then we see one person that's saying some dumb shit and then we gotta i gotta spend 45 minutes of my time talking telling them why they're an idiot instead of just ignoring that comment deleting that comment and keep talking to all my people in the comment section man that's such a blessing to have y'all on our team on our side you know what i'm saying man it's just y'all don't understand it's it's like i know that y'all y'all know y'all impact my life but once i realized that y'all i i actually have a impact on you guys' life when we talked about mental health and stuff yesterday i was overwhelmed for a while i had to go down sit down and talk to bridget and all this stuff and i was like i did not know that that many people you know had the same issues especially with the high school uh feeling like they've had a few concussions from high school and stuff like that man so i really appreciate y'all man and like i said uh thank y'all y'all have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. Up next, we got the boy Dime Works saying 2K should make assist part of the legend grind. That's how uh, that's how you really shape the community, and I do not disagree. I think not only not only should they make assists, but they should also make um, rebounds. And, and, and other stats, just put it at 200,000 and uh, make it 150,000 and then make all stats part of it. Because what, what's gonna happen is, you're gonna end up with only people being legend that, that score the majority of the points. So you're only gonna have point guards and stuff like that. You, you're probably not gonna have any centers or anything because even though points, point guards and centers are gonna score the majority of points, even a center probably not gonna score um, as many points as a guard is gonna score. So I think you're, you're, you're kind of pigeonholing the community and making it so like, it's like like only certain people are going to get legend when I don't think that's entirely right because the person that supported you in the legend grind, they put in just as much work as, uh, as you have getting those points. Or let us score half of them points in my career or something like that. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. And then a lot of people are feeling like, yo, it's, it's crazy because you're not going to be able to get it. Uh, everybody's not going to be able to get a legend. We know no casual is going to get legend. I just think, and I and that's fine. I'm fine with no with casuals not getting legend. We, we know we had a chance to do that last year. All that was good. But I do feel like you're making it damn near impossible for anybody to get legend unless they sit on the game all day or unless like um, only really streamers that stream 10 15 hours a day are going to be able to get it uh, and i just think that that's that's that that goal might be a little bit attainable but it also promotes not only that but it just promotes selfish gameplay if i'm on the break and i'm going down i'm going straight down broadway and you're in the corner and i know that you're set up for the three I may now, instead of kicking that, like mindlessly, I would have kicked that in the past. I know I gotta get 200, I know I gotta get 100,000 points. So I might just go onto the rim and act like I didn't see you over there like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't promote a uh, good gameplay. Not saying that 2K has ever promoted promoted the most team-oriented gameplay, even though this is the most team-oriented game that we've had to date, I would say. But people are starting to figure it out. They're starting to figure out the moves, and starting to figure out the sets that you can come out in and i mean it's just less and less team oriented every day and you know we're gonna talk about that a sec in a second man but up next hey we got we got uh 2k leaks and intel talking about <laughs> don't want to complain but the steals are kind of crazy right now and then you know you got your boy uh you got the og grandmaster uh sensei swante he's saying pro tip most locks um and centers probably don't even have unpluckable so just spam square on them uh spam square on them even more than you would a guard simply because you're a smooth <laughs> a smooth brain i always try to say let everyone feel the pain of the ball handler i hey i ain't gonna lie man hey it really doesn't matter to me what they do i know i'm a lock and uh i know i don't have unpluckable he's absolutely right so i get the ball out of my hand as quickly as possible but I know people are talking about the steals, and I know people are having a big issue with them. But and just like I gave Big Dog better for saying that he should get a steal, like if I got 99 and you know you, you got this, I should get the steal. I just want to bring this. This is something the 2K Lab put out. The dog Sam fam, he put out this 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 joint right here, and it's just talking about glove and unpluckable rate. Now look, if I got bronze and you got nothing, then um I'm gonna get it. 
10% of the time. Bronze on bronze action, 2%. Everything else, bronze, if they got silver, gold, or anything, you're not getting it. You have a 0% chance. So it's just like what we said, difference of percentages. If you have, if I got it, if I have it on silver and you have no unpluckable, I'll get it 30% of the time. So that's the guys that don't have unpluckable. You got it on bronze, it almost cuts it in half, 18. If you, silver on silver action, 6%. Gold Hall of Fame, even less, 6%, 4%. So, I mean, I, I really don't see it. It looks like Unpluckable is the key here. Uh, if you got Gold Glove, and this is what most people going to have because that Hall of Fame, bro, Hall of Fame is OD and not a lot of people got it. But anyway, look, 46, if you got it, I'm going to get it 46% of the time. That's almost every other time I reach on Hall of Fame. I'm going to get it uh, every other time, literally every other time I reach if you don't have it. If you got it on bronze, I'll get it 36% of the time and 46% of the time. If you have it on, if I got, um, if you got Unpluckable on silver, they'll only get it one out of four times if you got a, if you got it on gold if you got it on hall of fame you'll get it a few more times you'll get it one out of three times this is where the rubber meets the road right here to me if you have gold unpluckable on gold um gold unpluckable on gold pickpocket or uh glove you're gonna get it 12 percent of the time i don't think that's unreasonable i gotta reach that near 10 times to get it once unless you make an egregious mistake and then you know if you got on hall of fame which i really don't even think is worth it four more percentage of four more percentage points uh you know 16 percent of the time that's good if you got it on hall of fame uh unpluckable and i got on hall of fame glove i get it 10 percent of the time i guess y'all want those numbers to go back to zero just like it was on 2k22 when the game was good but then y'all it up because y'all just couldn't stand the fact you couldn't stand the idea that you may not be the only person that's good at this game and that you got to sit there and tout your record and all that stuff and somebody might be better than you at this game these guys got good timing too so sometimes they gonna get the ball now do that should they get it 10 12 times a game no but looking at the unpluckable numbers like if they're getting it 10 12 times maybe you're making some mistakes all i'm saying is yes they're gonna get it more of a percentage of the time but if you got it on goal they're not really getting it. If you got Unpluckable on Hall of Fame, they really not getting it, even if they got it on Hall of Fame. 8% of the time, I don't think that that's a ridiculous amount of times for somebody to get it for Hall of, for gold on Hall of Fame action. I just don't. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong. But if you're saying that you don't feel like you should have to make the, make the uh, investment in order to have ball security, then I'm saying to you, shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. How you gonna sit here and act like you shouldn't have the bad, like, like, you're so, so what you really are saying is, I got fades, you got, listen to all the badges that y'all got, hyperdrive, or, or with a killer combos, ankle breaker, uh, fade, fade from threes, all that stuff, you got quick drops, y'all got, you got speed boost, you got everything, and all of these things, and I got one badge to try to make this stuff work. You even got clamp breakers, cause clamps don't even work in the game, it seems like sometimes. It don't work on nobody, it seems like. So defense is literally completely at the mercy of the offense in this game. And we already saw what happened. Did y'all catch that? Boy, that's smooth. Y'all y'all, y'all didn't catch that, man. We gotta go back. Look at this. Dude, dude really tried to throw a lob. Man, let me get that. I guess I shouldn't have been able to get that either. I got like I got 85 interior on this dude and and almost a and a 80 and a high 80 block. I guess I shouldn't have been able to get that either. This is what this is what we want. It's like like people say they want a skill gap. What they really want is the offense to be able to do damn near whatever they want and be able and they want to be able to play enough defense to be able to stop the other team on some bullshit. Not not no real stops. Now, do I agree that on ball steals? I don't think that on ball steals and blocks are are the or should be the crux of most defenses. I feel like uh I feel like the real crux of most defenses uh, or the or the the linchpin of most defenses should just be able to be being able to stay in front of somebody and play good defense and make them miss shots. That's what happens more than not, more often than not. Good defensive, I think that 2K has broken what is a good defensive possession, but at the same time, I think that the community doesn't know what a good offensive possession looks like either. It's like you're dribbling in front of somebody and you're expecting them not to take the basketball. Go out there to, you can go out there to LA Fitness or, or, to, or to whatever yards you play basketball in. Try that and see how that works for you. Just try, just let me know how it works for you. And then be like, well, these guys are supposed to be professional. Well, my dude, a professional. All I'm saying is, looking at those stats, if those stats are correct, 
I don't see the big issue with it, but you know it is what it is. Up next, we got the community clips, man. Check it out. Finally learning how to dribble, man. Hey, we got this is uh this is isolation queen. You know, just, just getting it in in the, in the brickly, you know, a little bit of. <laughs> Now it ain't no adrenaline in here, but you know that don't, that don't matter right there. I don't know if this move would actually have would would soak up adrenaline in anything anyway. But hey, it is what it is, man. Some good good stuff right there. Up next, hey, we got she got game. That's the peaks this year. Or, you know, I guess they saying they, they are disgusting. They are disgustingly slow. I'm not gonna lie, but hey, it is what it is. It's where we at, and uh, I mean, be, I would say be happy you can peak anyway, cause. 2K don't want that stuff in the game anyway, but hey, good stuff right there. Hey, up next, if you don't know how to shoot the basketball, my boy is an instant burner. Got, hey, bro, he got this thing. He got a video showing y'all how to shoot with the nice, with the nice uh, jump shot and all that stuff, man. Y'all need to check that out. And then, uh, you know, one last thing we got, we got the boy, uh, the Laker fan talking about for two years straight, uh, the dunk meter has been in the game and I see it once every 200 games. I ain't gonna lie about that, but I don't even hardly see nobody use it other than Brute. I mean, you'll see every now and then somebody will try to uh, do it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, then we got my boy, my boy Verde with the unguardable six. This is something that been in the game for years too. Left sticking. You can't stop that left stick. You can't get, even get a bump on the left stick, man. And then last but not least, my boy D-Man said he got all of these dunks in one game. Now, am I telling y'all, bro? Hey, this, this, well, D-Man been a slasher life in Oh, baby. Hold on, hold on one more second. I'm, I'm going to give y'all one more and then we're going to get up out of here. We're we, we going to get you one. One more. Oh, baby. Now, look, listen, man. Am I saying that I'm agree 100% with the plucks and stuff? Obviously not. The unrealistic launches and the stuff like that where he just launches at you and gets the ball, I don't think that's something that should be in the game. But at the same time, if you're dribbling into somebody and you know he has glove and he has taken the ball from you before, why would you allow him to get close to you again? Yeah, sometimes you get blitzed. Yeah, sometimes things happen and you can't, it's beyond our control. But if you pass the ball, you don't have that issue. That's the, that's the side I'm gonna stand on. All I'm gonna keep saying is this. We know what happens when they mess with the steals. It spawns all these people that are now unguardable and there's nothing we can do about it. All I'm saying is consider that you yourself may be making a mistake and let's try to figure the game out. Let's just try not to make any changes and see what's going on. I know it's I know it's terribly inconvenient and I know it I know it pisses you off, but come on man. Let us have some fun too, bro. That's all I'm saying. Because last year was no fun, zero fun, sir. And I don't want to go back to that. Just imagine if they make this change, it may it may help you and may make the game better for you, but it might ruin the game for literally everybody else that's playing. You already can't guard these guys. They can dribble, walk back into the backcourt and dribble and run around screens. It's already hard to hard to guard people, man. But you know, here's what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Put steel down there. Um, if you want to be entered for your chance to win, uh, fifty dollars in VC. I'm holla at y'all next time. Till next time. That's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.